Hidden among the dunes of the Sahara, the rainforests, and the deserts, Africa's mysteries unveil ancient secrets. Let's explore together the most enigmatic historical and natural discoveries of this fascinating continent. Get ready to be amazed by the secrets time has concealed. Number 10. Mauritius A stunning island located southeast of the African coast, renowned for its rich biodiversity and spectacular coral reefs. Among the natural wonders of this place, one of the most fascinating sights is an underwater waterfall. This phenomenon, visible only from above, leaves visitors breathless. When observing the coastline from a helicopter, it appears as though a magnificent waterfall plunges beneath the waves. However, this waterfall is actually an optical illusion. The effect is created by sand and silt deposits sliding down an underwater slope and sinking into the ocean depths. This sediment movement gives the impression of water cascading as in a waterfall or the island being sucked into a great vortex. Despite being an illusion, this spectacle continues to enchant Mauritius visitors. Number 9. African Stonehenge Approximately 1,200 kilometers south of the Great Pyramid of Giza and 96 kilometers west of the Nile lies a stone complex known as Nabta Playa, often likened to England's Stonehenge. Discovered in the 1970s by archaeologists, Nabta Playa is much older than Stonehenge, dating back over 7,000 years. The site features stone circles, megaliths, and other structures aligned with stars, suggesting use for astronomical observations and as a calendar to track seasons. The ancient builders were likely nomadic herders crossing the region with their livestock. The most significant structure is the calendar stone circle, comprised of four pairs of large stones and several smaller ones. A study in 2007 confirmed these stones were likely aligned with stars such as Sirius, Arcturus, the Alpha Centauri system, and Orion's Belt. The historical significance of Nabda Playa has been jeopardized by tourists who have damaged and moved the stones, altering the original alignment. Number 8. Men and Crocodiles in Burkina Faso In the lakeside village of Bazul, Burkina Faso, an extraordinary phenomenon contradicts common perceptions about crocodiles. These animals, known for their danger and wild nature, are instead considered friendly and even playful towards humans in Bazul. According to a local legend dating back to the 11th century, during a severe drought that struck the village, guardian crocodiles led hungry residents to a hidden waterhole, allowing them to quench their thirst. In gratitude, the villagers organized a festival to thank these crocodiles, starting a special bond between the two species. Every year, the community celebrates a ceremony called Kum Lakra, offering sacrifices and asking the crocodiles to grant wishes of health, prosperity, and good harvests. During the dry season, it's common to find crocodiles in the courtyards of local families, while at other times they roam the village looking for safe places to lay eggs, protected by the inhabitants. Number 7. The Saqqara Bird Archaeologists have unearthed an intriguing artifact that has captured the attention of researchers and the public alike. Known as the Saqqara bird, it was discovered in a tomb at Saqqara, Egypt, dating back around 2,200 years ago. This object has the shape of a modern airplane with a bird's head. Despite its antiquity, its purpose remains shrouded in mystery. The lack of contemporary documentation only adds further elements of mystery, fueling speculations that ancient Egyptians may have understood principles of aerodynamics. Some hypothesize the Saqqara bird was a functional model aircraft or glider, though there are also dissenting views. According to more conventional scholars, it might simply be a child's toy, a sculpture depicting a real bird, or an ancient weather vane. The controversy surrounding this artifact continues to this day, raising questions about the possibility that ancient Egyptians possessed advanced knowledge yet to be fully revealed or if the Saqqara bird is merely a fascinating but mundane object from the past. Number 6. Voodoo in Africa In West Africa, voodoo is a widespread religion with roots in Benin, considered its place of origin. More than 40% of the Beninese population follows voodoo as the official religion, with the country even celebrating Voodoo Day as a national holiday, and hosting a national museum dedicated to this unique spiritual practice. For Beninese, 
Voodoo is not just a religion, but a comprehensive way of life embracing culture, philosophy, art, music, dance, and medicine. The spiritual pantheon of Voodoo includes Mahu, the supreme deity, and around a hundred other deities representing various aspects of life and nature such as war, diseases, healing, land, and storms. Voodoo priests invoke these deities to intervene on behalf of ordinary people, sometimes using medicinal herbs to cure the sick or performing rituals with offerings like chickens, sheep, or alcohol to express gratitude or seek assistance in various areas of daily life such as health, work, business, marriage, or offspring. Number 5. African Goliath Frogs They represent the largest frogs known in the world. These enormous amphibians, also known as Goliath Frogs of Konrawa, can reach lengths of up to 31 centimeters and weigh up to 3.5 kilograms, comparable to some domestic cats. They inhabit small areas in the rainforests of West Africa, preferring environments near fast-flowing rivers and waterfalls. Like other frogs, they depend on water and at night perch on river rocks to hunt insects, crustaceans, fish, and other amphibians. Despite their size, Goliath frogs are mute because they lack vocal sacs. The reproductive ritual of these frogs is unusual. Males build nests of rocks and gravel along riverbanks, engaging in fights with other males to mate with females. After the female deposits thousands of eggs, there is no parental care. The frogs do not even wait for the eggs to hatch. Unfortunately, these extraordinary creatures are threatened by human activities such as agriculture, deforestation, and hunting for food, endangering their survival in African tropical forests. Number 4. Fantasy Coffins in Ghana On the southern coast of Ghana, death is considered not as a sad event, but as a moment of fashion and celebration. The Ga people of Ghana have transformed coffin production into a surprising art with their extraordinary fantasy coffins. These are not the traditional coffins you might imagine. They come in various shapes and designs representing the profession, passion, or social status of the deceased person. For example, a microphone-shaped coffin is intended for a musician or speaker, while a car-shaped coffin is conceived for a driver. An airplane-shaped coffin is created in honor of a pilot, and a lion-shaped coffin is used for a chief. The craftsmanship involved in creating these coffins is remarkable, characterized by intricate details that evoke admiration. Fantasy coffins have gained such popularity that they are exported to other countries, including the United States and Europe. Number 3. The New African Spider In 2014, in South Africa's Temb Elephant Park, a new spider species with a distinctive appearance was discovered. This spider features a distinctive exclamation mark-shaped spot on its back and a sinuous white pattern resembling a human face with an open mouth and a terror expression. Scientists identified it as a new species called Finda button spider, closely related to the widow spider family like the black widow, redback, and button spider, potentially one of the largest widow spiders in the world. Barbara Wright, the explorer who made the original discovery, reported that the venom of the Finda button spider is neurotoxic, requiring immediate medical attention if bitten. Females of this spider have bright red spots on their bellies, and their egg sacs are of a fascinating purple color each containing about 600 offspring. This spider is a creature best avoided, given its potential danger and unique characteristics. Number 2. Secret Forest in Mozambique At the top of Mount Liko, in northern Mozambique, about 700 meters above sea level, lies a secret and untouched rainforest, surrounded by a circle of steep rocks that have protected it from human intervention for centuries. This extraordinary discovery was made in 2012 by Julian Bayliss, a biologist who spotted the forest through satellite images and made his discovery public in 2017. What makes this forest unique is that it has only undergone natural disturbances such as droughts over the centuries, without any direct human interference. This pristine environment hosts a rich variety of plants and animals adapted to its unique conditions, providing scientists with valuable insights into the past and future of biodiversity. The discovery of this hidden rainforest reveals the existence of many secrets yet to be uncovered in the natural world, demonstrating the importance of protecting and studying remote and pristine areas like these. Number 1. Prehistoric Cave Art 
In caves scattered across Africa, the earliest examples of human art are found, painted on natural rock walls dating back over 15,000 years ago. The paintings depict dynamic hunting scenes, rich with wildlife that is now extinct in those regions. However, many also feature disturbing images that continue to puzzle scholars. Found in remote cave systems from Namibia to Morocco, these paintings show human figures engaged in hunting with spears and capturing animals such as elephants, rhinos, zebras, and antelopes. Detailed portraits depict extinct creatures in intimate and realistic poses. The cave artists demonstrated acute observational skills and advanced painting techniques using red and brown pigments. In addition to depicting common fauna, there are also more enigmatic creations, such as human figures with exaggerated or missing features and fantastical creatures that do not exist in the known natural world. The ritual purpose of these images remains speculative today, as does the identity of the artists who created them. Our journey has come to an end for today, but it will not be the last. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Until the next adventure.